Back guys to another video. So let's talk about what Warren Buffett just bought. Now, obviously he did make a pretty big purchase a few weeks ago on Dominican Energy, pretty much the natural gas company. He's pretty much investing a lot of money in natural gas pipes. I don't really know why, I guess it's somewhat profitable. Keep in mind that the investing style of Warren Buffett, it's pretty different from the average millennial. Now, you probably, if you check your stock portfolio right this second, you notice that you're investing in a lot of companies that do not make any money. Obviously, a lot of companies are in debt. They don't make money. It seems to be the standard right now. Tesla only recently started just making a little bit of cash. And the whole reason why that Warren Buffett doesn't like companies that don't make any money is he feels like it's purely speculation and it's not safe. I obviously kind of get what he's talking about, but keep in mind that a lot of the stocks that grow the best today are going to be the stocks that do not make any money. It sounds really weird, doesn't it? I mean, for example, Nikola Motors is worth $10 billion even though it doesn't make a single car for example. So, so far, if you look at Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio, they have a really big stock portfolio as well. I could go on and on about these companies, but the majority in the bulk of the Berkshire Hathaway portfolio is going to be Apple taking a one-third stake, Bank of America 11%, and also Coca-Cola 10%. And then if we sprinkle on some American Express, Wells Fargo, Kraft, and also Moody's on top as icing and cherries. So, so far, Warren Buffett obviously is going to invest in something that he's more comfortable with and he bought a lot of shares of ding 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 bank of america so this is honestly a pretty good purchase if you look at bank of america right now it's actually one of the industries that have not actually fully recovered if you look at apple microsoft amazon the tech guys out there they have fully recovered the cloud stocks the internet stocks are already hitting all-time highs consistently but banks airlines hotel cruises and poor old chuck e cheese and david busters have not recovered at all Bank of America is also one of Robinhood's most popular stocks out there. And of all the financial stocks, ETFs, and anything financial related, Bank of America seems to be really popular because not only is the overall bank pretty good, but price has a big thing to do with it. With only $24 a share, it's pretty appealing for a lot of millennials. By the way, Bank of America is a pretty decent company in general. Like their trading program and also the way they do things is very good. They survived the 08 crash. They came out stronger than ever. And so far, even during this giant pandemic crash, they actually have stabilized pretty well, unlike Wells Fargo. If you check out Bank of America so far, it did go from $34 all the way down to like $19, $20. It all went all the way back up. Now it's at $24. It's one of the industries that have not fully recovered. And keep in mind that banks, they make a lot of money. And they're one of the industries that are not going away. Sure, tech, it comes and goes, comes and goes, like Sony and Nokia, and also Kodak, for some reason, it's up like 200% today. Banks, foods, credit cards, these things, they're not ever going to go away. These will be the things that are going to be the age-old giants that will always stay. And this is why Bank of America is such a popular stock. And this is why Warren Buffett is buying even more shares of Bank of America. Now, if you check out how much Bank of America he's buying, it's going to be a lot. And this is after when a bunch of hedge funds were selling about Bank of America. Hedge funds seems to not like Bank of America several weeks ago. Around early July, people started selling Bank of America simply because after the Fed's bank stress test, people were really a little bit freaked out. Now, after a stress test, obviously Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, they all pass a stress test. The Fed's pretty much told the banks that you can't really do stock buybacks, which is a big oof because the whole reason why a lot of stocks actually grow really well, for example, the airlines, is because of stock buybacks. And then they told the banks, as the salt all the wound, is you got to cut back on the dividends. So Bank of America, the whole reason why it's so appealing is because the dividend yield is very close to 3%, which is higher than the S&P 500 of 2%. We all know that guys like Warren Buffett, they love dividends. You can clearly see a lot of the stocks on this list for Berkshire Hathaway actually pays dividends. He never invests things that do not pay dividends, and dividends is a very important thing for him. And so far, Bank of America, once you cut dividends, a lot of big investors might actually leave and go somewhere else because who knows when all these dividend stuff will be back. And by the way, Feds will be implementing the 0% interest rate for another couple years, which is also pretty painful. And there's also the looming, scary news of negative interest rates, which would be really good for a lot of stocks and companies, but it's really bad for banks because how do banks make money? They make money from loaning out money and collecting interest. If you're telling them that interest rates are going to be extremely low, they're going to obviously make less cash. And this is why banks just simply cannot climb up. And by the way, 
Warren Buffett, I mean, he's a pretty good investor. I'm actually pretty pleased that he bought Bank of America. It's one of the few industries that is still pretty down. And Bank of America does recover to about $35. He's going to make a lot of money. If you check it out, pretty much Warren Buffett bought even more of back. And he paid about $400 million from July 23rd to July 27th for a total of 16.4 million more shares of Bank of America. He bought them at an average of $22 $24.22, which is pretty good. And right now, Warren Buffett owns almost a billion shares of Berkshire Hathaway stock. This is pretty insane. And so far, it's going to be a pretty good purchase. In my opinion, purchasing at a $24 price is honestly pretty decent. If you look at Bank of America today, it's $24.34. So I guess he's making a pretty decent profit. I mean, it it's a few pennies more. But keep in mind that he did buy like 16 million shares. So it's actually pretty good. He's honestly stocking his portfolio up with companies that actually do make money. I wouldn't even be surprised if he started buying a bunch more of like American Express, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, which is another really good company. You clearly see most of his portfolio are mostly banks because banks are one of those industries that will never go away. And banks, guess what? They make a lot of money. Now, remember, the 0% interest rates will not last forever. And Warren Buffett is usually a long-term investor. He doesn't like to invest in things that are short-term. He doesn't like to hold companies that do, like, do, do not make money. And that is why he sold all his airline stock. Because he noticed airlines would not recover for another few years. Because this pandemic has absolutely knocked the airline industry off its rhythm. So banks, eventually they will recover when interest rates do go up. Bank stocks will absolutely go up as well. And by the way, there's insane amount of people applying for mortgages. Keep in mind that banks, once again, make money from loaning out money. And when there's a lot of people applying for loans, mortgages, they do make a lot of cash. Even though interest rates right now are exceptionally no low, especially in my city like a year ago when I want to do refinance, for example, it's going to be like 3.5%. Now it's like 2.7%. There's a lot of people getting mortgages right now. The amount of people buying homes has absolutely spiked up. It's absolutely crazy and it's really insane. So Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, their trading departments are making a lot of money and it's a pretty decent company. I mean, Bank of America's spreadsheet, if you actually look at it, isn't too bad compared to Wells Fargo and also other companies out there. So if you guys want to join Warren Buffett in his Bank of America journey, I mean, definitely hop in. Remember, Warren Buffett doesn't like to buy stocks that are meme stocks. Bank of America isn't a meme stock. It's a stock that you hold for long periods of times to actually get good returns. And not only that, you could use the dividends from every quarterly basis to invest in more Bank of America stock. Remember, the five-year chart from Bank of America looks pretty litty. And Bank of America has been doing some really good recovery ever since the 08 crash. So, I highly recommend Bank of America stock. If you guys want to get it, I mean, definitely go ahead. Our boy Warren Buffett actually buy in, so there's really no point of not really owning it, especially how it's super cheap. There's almost half a million of you guys actually owning this on Robinhood, and this really just you know tells a lot of big stories about how popular the stock is. A lot of people who do start Robinhood, they do start trading, they usually do buy Bank of America because it's one of the healthiest and cheapest bank stocks that you could own. That's about it. Thanks for watching and con below.